This is the Voice of Vietnam, broadcasting from Hanoi, capital of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Welcome to the Voice of Vietnam. I'm Phương Khanh sending warm greetings to all Vietnamese listeners worldwide. In this very first program of the new Lunar New Year of the Thai Year 2022, we're glad to wish you all the best for the new year. Our special broadcast today will start with New Year greetings from the President of Vietnam, Nguyễn Xuân Phúc. Thưa đồng bào, đồng chí và chiến sĩ cả nước, trong thời khắc thiêng liêng chào đón năm mới nhâm dần. Fellow countrymen, comrades, and soldiers all over Vietnam, in this sacred moment, when we ring in the ear of the tiger, on behalf of the party, the state, and the Vietnam Fatherland Fund, I would like to extend my heartfelt sentiments and best New Year wishes to my fellow countrymen and comrades, soldiers in Vietnam and overseas Vietnamese. I would also like to extend wishes of peace, friendship, prosperity and happiness to our friends all over the world. In the spring of 1942, the year of the horse, President Ho Chi Minh wrote in the independent Vietnam newspaper, May throughout our country this year, the star flag fly. This year's state will be glorious. In the 80 years since, history has inscribed new pages, but the values forged by our national heritage, solidarity, benevolence, resilience, and sacrifice will never change. In the most challenging moments of 2021, we witnessed many examples of people from every social strata ready to risk their lives for the sake of the community. Doctors, nurses, and volunteers left the comfort of their family, their parents, their children, to brave the life-threatening danger of working in pandemic-hit areas. All people unhesitatingly donated their life savings to the COVID-19 fund. Children drew touching pictures and wrote beautiful poems and moving letters, expressing their gratitude to frontline health workers and their confidence in Vietnam's strength against the pandemic. At this moment, many frontliners still fighting the pandemic, many soldiers defending national security and public order on our borders and islands, and many workers doing their duty to maintain national production and labor to spend this state holiday with their families. The party, state and people treasure their efforts on behalf of the community and society. The nation remembers with gratitude the sacrifices made by our fellow countrymen and comrades and appreciates the generous support of overseas Vietnamese and international friends. Challenges serve to reinforce our solidarity, consensus, will and persistence, which mirror the heroism shown by our predecessors throughout the history of our nation and throughout thousands of years of national construction and defense. I wish every Vietnamese family a happy, cozy and safe and every Vietnamese citizen safety, good health, success and happiness in the year of the tiger. 2022. Thank you and happy new year. Đồng bào ta, năm mới, nhâm dần, 2022, bình an, mạnh khỏe, thành công và hạnh phúc. Xin trân trọng cảm ơn và chúc mừng năm mới. That was President Winston Phúc's New Year greetings. The year 2021, with numerous challenges and difficulties, has gone. We are welcoming the new year as Vietnam enters a new period of post-COVID-19 recovery and development. Everywhere in Vietnam is now full of new vitality and hope for the better future. We all believe that in this new lunar year of the tiger, Vietnam will further prosper. I'm very glad we are resuming normal life and everyone is full of optimism. I've resumed my daily routines. Children can go to school, parents can go to work, companies are open again, and we can get a monthly salary. Spring has arrived. I pray for peace and health for my family in the new year. These are the wishes of people living in Ho Chi Minh City and across Vietnam as we welcome the spring of 2022. We all believe in a better future and wish to contribute to the recovery and development of Ho Chi Minh City and Vietnam. 
Nguyen Hoàng Anh of Ho Chi Minh City is one of the 10 individuals receiving the 2021 National Volunteer Award. Cái hành trình vừa qua sau thời gian chống dịch đó thì nó nó cho em cái bài học. The past journey has taught me lessons about time, family and unity. If we are united, we can surely overcome all difficulties. I hope my charity... After months of social distancing due to COVID-19, a brighter future is ensured with people being eager to contribute to the city's development. That was the song in which the protagonist looks back at the old year with a smile and hopes for the best for the new year. Thoughts and wishes of people in Ho Chi Minh City in first days of the new year, especially those of young people, reflect the strong vitality of the city after numerous difficulties. Strong vitality, optimism, and warm care in Ho Chi Minh City and across Vietnam has spread to foreigners working and living in Vietnam. John Hyung Jun of South Korea, of Tuấn Jun, has big love for Vietnam. Returning to Vietnam late last year for a master's degree in international relations at the Diplomatic Academy of Vietnam, Tuấn said that this is the first time he has welcomed the new lunar year in northern Vietnam. He is excited to see how people in Hanoi prepare for their upcoming Tet holiday. Trước khi Tết thì em cảm thấy những người Hà Nội thực sự rất là bận rộn. Còn cái ý thức của người Việt Nam cũng rất là cao về và đảm bảo được cái việc Vietnam doing well in keeping the COVID-19 pandemic under control. The Vietnamese people are highly aware of and responsible in preventing and fighting the pandemic. I'm sure the pandemic will soon go away and Vietnam will become stable and prosper again. You're listening to expats sharing their experience of Vietnamese traditional TED and their thoughts on Vietnam's development in the new year. Young Vietnamese people living and working abroad have contributed to national development. For now, check out the report on Inno City, an innovation creativity program dedicated to young Vietnamese people. Inno City program was launched by the Association of Vietnamese Students in Europe last year to promote talent of young overseas Vietnamese and encourage them to contribute to the nation. In Okonong, Zimbabwe, they reserved 150 innovative projects and conducted more than 400 project authors. New Year is the time for family gathering. special program on the first day of the Vietnamese traditional Lunar New Year celebration. At length, is Professor Dr. Vu Ming Yan tell us about Vietnam's development and Vietnamese people's aspiration to rise. What is your view on Vietnamese people's ambition and desire to rise in the New Year? Đó là cái khát vọng của dân tộc. Nó a year of difficulties has passed, leaving all the problems behind. Vietnamese living inside and outside the country enter the new year with confidence and desire to contribute to national development. Our special program on the first day of the new little year has come to an end. Thank you very much for joining us. May you have a happy, perfect, and prosperous new year.